small electronic device implanted in a Salt Lake woman monitors exactly what she needs to do to take care of herself. The 75-year-old patient is the first to volunteer for this unique clinical trial in Utah. More on the story from medical specialist Ed Yates. Can I take a listen to you? At Intermountain Medical Center in Murray, cardiologist Jeffrey Osborne is checking on his patient, Nancy Olson. Inside her body is a new device that's almost like a portable doctor, a sensory, if you will, monitoring her health 24 hours a day. It's able to tell us exactly where her volume status is without guessing. Nancy has congestive heart failure. The device implanted just under the skin picks up all kinds of data from a small lead that runs inside an artery up to her heart. It then transmits to a handheld monitor what she needs to know. At home, Nancy's internal watchdog notifies her four times a day exactly what's going on with her heart and tells her what dosage she needs to take in medicine. The readout is simple in her language and spells out what she needs to do as if the doctor were standing at her side. It starts at, in the morning, uh, the alarm goes off. It, it has preset times when I should check my heart. Nancy follows a normal routine at home. When needed, the sentry will ask questions about her activity level and whether she's experienced a shortness of breath since the last checkup. It takes her temperature and measures the left atrial pressure in the heart. It looks and listens, dispatches all the information, then tells what specific doses of medicines she needs to take at that time. The implants are customized to fit each patient's condition and any nuances in their metabolism. When I was young, if you had heart failure, you died. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really different. It really is remarkable. It can revolutionize care if applied to the outpatient setting because it might actually be more predictive earlier on of a heart failure uh, episode that is developing. Dr. Osborne believes what he's seen in these early clinical trials is just the beginning. While many kinds of internal centuries are packing more and more electronics, they're also getting smaller and smaller. And I think there'll be eventually, and not too far in the distant future, a type of monitor that's really injected in patients that allow us to monitor them from home or from afar that tells us what their heart rhythm is doing. And not just heart rhythms. Future microscopic devices could float in the bloodstream, monitoring almost anything that's measurable in every part of the body. Ed Yates, KSL 5 News, Salt Lake City. And if you think that's impressive, Dr. Osborne says future heart centuries might even be tied to a GPS system that would automatically hail an ambulance when the patient gets in trouble. Oh, extraordinary. Can you imagine? Wow. If you like consistency,